There's the pickup stack, Epper One ready. Hello everyone, my name is Augie, and this is my first video of a, well, pickups. So let's start with what the channel's been advertising for its few seconds and show off a recent VHS that I got. And here we have is the Spaced Out Japanimation with four classics of Space Cateers, Star Avengers, Gray Grandizer, and Guy King all in its cheesy VHS glory. This is part of the Force 5 series. Even though it has four, four of them, it's missing one. One. So available on DVD with it, something I already have, have which we have Star Zanger, which is on there. Guy King. Now these two are from uh, Shout Factory and they're compilation movies, so it's like Three episodes in one movie, quote unquote. Also, Discotech release of Guy King, Guy King Sub Uncut, obviously the full series. And what's missing from here is Die Guard Ace, which apparently these two are Leji Masamoto shows. Uh, one of his earlier works before he went on to. Captain Harlog, Galaxy Express 39, and others. Scoot this over. Next. Oh yeah. Also, with this big old big huge Japanimation, I also grabbed two others released by this Japanimation line of Wolf Trap and Hello Goodbye. Nature's Way Country Hearts. Big old bear right there. And a dog. So with that ends the VHS portion. DVDs and Blu-rays are going to be mixed up. Not all of them will be opened and you will see why when I get to the first Blu-ray, but let's proceed. From right stuff, I finally got in this corner of the world. Technically I was waiting for this in this corner of the world and others, which adds like more video. I think like 30 minutes, 45 minutes more, or maybe it's just 15 but I was waiting for a full movie, technically, but gotta, gotta settle with this. So spine, spine, and inside. I kinda like this, the whole, yeah, yeah, aha. The whole grandeur of this city. I almost, it's like Nighthawks during the day, probably more Italian or, well, I guess Japanese, cause you see the kanji there. So that is in this corner of the world. Next we have is a favorite of mine, Yotterman Knights. This is one of those uh, revisions of one of the Tosunako series. In this case, instead of Yo well, even though it has Yotterman in it, it focuses more on the main, main quote unquote villain or the predecessor, predecessor, whichever one you want to pronounce it as Jesse and James, as Duranjo and her two goons are actually trying to help help each other to get out of the poverty bar, yeah, out of the poverty land that they're in. So let's give it a good old spin. There's the back, spine again. Poop it out. Same thing. Now we open it. It has two DVDs. One, two. And without hurting that box, last image right here. We have, well, Yotter Man and Yotter Man, or Yotter Man and Yotter Girl, I believe. I believe her name's Yotter Girl. All right. Now let's move on to the next one. And this is the first Sentai series I'm going to show. And it's How Clumsy Are You, Miss Ueo? And in here we have Front Spine. Spine, then the back. And all the things you see here are her inventions, not in, not really in an attack. I like I have watched this and I enjoyed it. It's pretty much Genius Girl is trying to get with with a dense bo dense boy in their science club while silent always reading best bestest bestie of UAO is trying to help her, even though he just just is oblivious to her well coming on. So as I open this, this is what I mentioned. 
for the sin for all the sentai that i have or since they were released very close there's no art so i'm not going to open every single one however all of them are saying hi hi up next is sinryu girl give it a good spin another short series this one is 180 minutes as you can see right there if i can read two 12 eps yep 180 minutes and like i said before same trend so i'm not going to continue this up next is oh chan can't study well once again another 180 minute short series 12 eps, 12 eps as well and there you have it next is rosario plus vampire and with rosario plus vampire capo 2 yeah it's not the original releases it's an essential you'll see some more essentials in here some not by choice others just by cheap so open we have pretty much the same as the first all the art that you can see on here and just about the same just without the upper titles as so right here Up next is Chain Chronicle, The Light of Hexietus. Hexietus, which is a German, which relates either back to, not German, Greek or Latin, but I am uneducated on this. So here we go with a spin. Whoa, the side and the back. Open it up, Jack. And we see that the art really doesn't attack. It's just... It's all something you'd see like in a tile for a bathhouse or your bathroom or your garden, whichever. All right, moving forward. Oh yeah, one more mention. This one is uh, three movies. Three movies slash OVAs. Yeah, three movies. So this release kind of has the same sort of vein, three movies as a Doten laughing under the clouds Gaiden, which you can you can find this at Walmart. This one was released by Shout Factory. This one is obviously Funimation. So up next we have Terror Terror in Renaissance. Once again, those rebellion like stories with the main trio tri doing that triangle stuff. Or that's what I remember. I could it's been so long. I only watched like one or two episodes and it was too slow for me. But there's the spine, and there's the behind. Wrap around, and we just rewind. Up next, with vigorous jazz hands as handshakers. If you wear glasses, do not watch this show, because it is not for you. This, many people complain about the CG in it. To me, it's like another experimental watch. I haven't watched it all the way, so I can't really review it, but it's handshakers. There's the spine, there's the back. Open it up. It smells like crack. Get the girl. What's her name? I don't know. I'm just going to call her girl. Because that's a... An... Ooh, handshakers. Because that's... How long it's been since I've seen this. Sorry if you enjoy the show. Up next we have... Prince of Stride. A lot of, a lot of words. Alternative. An anime about track running there's the front the spine the back around the deck to open it the spickle this back there you go well, i guess that one's very hard to open up next for all you, all you skate lovers out there, which I did work at a skate, I did work at a skate rink a long time ago, and this, and for what little I've seen of this show, it reminds me of the cleanup, as Yuri on Ice has glitter everywhere. You, It was near impossible to get the glitter off the rubber mats that you walk around the skate rink. So open it up, give another twirl. So what we have up, oh. so we have this, 
we have I have not seen the show. We have this character. Yeah. Go around more, showing off the art. And we have this over here. This is one of the few anime series I know that uh well it had a full theater run the whole series just for one day in the US. I have a friend I call AC, but the anime collector, if you see on the subscription side, that he ha I believe he still has a video of it up or he decided not to. Give him a shout, see what he says. All right, next is Alice and Zoroku. I recently watched this. This is a very uplifting show. It ends with the Alice ed element, but at the beginning, it, beginning a whole bunch of these these children that has certain certain type of s certain type of psychic powers are all harvested, kind of like a a silent X Men type of situation. Then they finally break free. There's a lot more that happens, but give this pink pink one a spin here. Open it up. She's cheerful now. These two characters come in way later. Back there. Open. So I really liked the like this background. As you can see, the discs don't have that many col colors. I mean, the Blu-ray gets this obvious pink, but somehow this lizard neon yellow, or really I should say lime green, kind of doesn't suit this series, but I, out of all the backdrops that I've seen recently, I really enjoy this, this one particular. All right, let's shut this case and move on. Two, a show that I didn't really realize that I would own so soon, and that is Shonen Maid. What's it about? Um, a maid who's sewn in. Man, it's probably offensive. I'm sorry, but let's give it a flip. Oh, whoop, ba -doop, boom. Whoop, and not much different. So right here, artwork, disc, very, very coaster-like. Very lacy, very lacy, very lacy for maid it being a maid show or or a butler dressing fancily and there you go up next we have classroom of the elite i don't know what this is about it looks pretty though flip it flip it flip it boom re-flip the dip open the skip yeah so once again, we get this green, we get the red. The DVD is more appropriate color with the box this time than the, than the Blu-ray. Flip it over and another another one that might be a good de de uh, card gaming mat if y'all if you are into that thing. Putting it up. All right, next we have. Gentle Style Organ, which is part of the Ito series, part of the Project Ito series. So this is, I believe, the last in this trilogy. So, spine, behind, spine, pop out to Ryan, wind to the spine, behind, and open it up to this mankind. Or I guess the end of it, you no, know, doing these on how this one end a bit this one also ends as depressing which is fine because that's the name of the game i think oh gave you a better space there you go all right up next this air, technically the first series of this aired in G4 TV's or Tech TV's Anime Unleashed lineup. And sadly, this is probably the one I didn't like, the that I didn't really like. I favored this the least out of the lineup. And that is not Last Exile. I got this. But we have 
Last Exile, Fan the Silver Wing. So, got that. Both are classics. Both This one's in a chubbier box, obviously. And not much difference. Whoops, sorry. Not much difference here. Let's pop it open. So, back's the same. Black, black, brown, brown. And we see more characters. According to the local friends, not the YouTube friends, they prefer this one more than the later. But, I don't know. The dub to me was a little bit too Scottish for my taste. But... That should hinder the show. This is something I might need to go back and re-watch. Give it another chance. Up next is a show a lot of people enjoy. Which is... Kogi... Whoops, sorry. Kogios, Akito the, Exi the Exile. Which before, I've already had... The first season. First season. Second season. the first compilation movie and the recent the recent movie now this one I'm not going to open just for the same fact that uh well let me do the flip you might can hear it yeah yeah the box is shattered inside so I got to return this puppy and swap it out but I want to at least show it here cuz I didn't realize how shiny the box is and I really want to know what happened between the events of Tehan, Tehan. Then again, I keep hearing people say that these two go to these two go together, and this one kind of cliffhangs or ends this one. I don't know. I have not seen this. I think I've seen this already. If I seen these these two prior, and I am dead curious to know what's in this. I love the steelbook touches for this, by the way. Thank you, Funimation. All right. I know I could have gotten the Blu-ray, but I had the DVD before, and I just want to keep it that way for now. So up next is a spinoff of the Fate series. Fate series of Fate, Fate Collider, Fate Collide Linear, with the season two, with its. Uh, I believe it goes this way for its season twos. However, the However, since season three is uh, is owned by Funimation instead of Sentai Filmworks here, that is stuck in digital, so I can't slap my friends with it. Ugh, what's the point of collecting? So, recently, I got the two movies. Let's start with the dark one, because it's dark. Val in the Snow, one of the, one of the movies in the series. Yeah, there's the spine. There's behind. I'm not going to open it, because the... Others were white. Here's the front. Here's the, here's the spine. There's a behind. And they rewind because this is too kind. Even though I'm not sure if this... Obviously, by this cover, I think everything goes to shit. Take, yeah, it goes to shit. While this one, I think, goes all cutesy. I don't know. I'm judging the covers. I'm not watching it. So, what really can I say? All right. Next up, we have a lighter tone si series called Nanyan Biori. We got the first season, we got the second season, but the pickup I got is the movie, the summer movie. Very, or the vacation movie. Very appropriate for the season, even though this whole, oh, time to date the video, Corona is preventing a lot of people from going anywhere. So here's the front, there's the spine, there's the behind. We care to rewind and skip and move through time. All right, this one, I don't know too much, much of it. I know for what little I know, I think the creator of Soul Diver did this series, but I already had these. I've already had season one, season two, which I can only get in Blu-ray, season three and season four. These are what I already have. What I didn't like is the movie is only in Blu-ray. However, I uh, can't really say much here. So I got Lutanos Prince Sama Maji Love Kingdom. Front spine, 
there's the behind. You care to rewind and go through time. Up next is, it's not the latest in the series, but I finally got Case Closed the movie captured in her eyes. This is not, well, this might be a tough one to get, but this is not really a hard one to get, but instead of being in the two digit number, two digit dollar signs, it's in the three digits at the moment. Hopefully our good friends at Discotech can revive this. Maybe it'll have two different dubs, I hope. So here's the front, behind, sorry, spine, behind. Open it up. And up, then we see this. Hey, I always like looking at these. If you've seen the teaser for the channel, you'll see that I have a big collection. So I don't have that, have that, have that, have that, have that. Yeah, I'm not looking at that. Have that, have that, have that, have that, have that. Well, spoiler there. Have that, not that, uh-oh. Have that, have that, have, well, I don't have season three or four, so that'll be a later thing I'll get. Current up to Z, need to get super. Have that, have that, have that. Well, not season two. Same goes again with that. Have that, I really wish that one had a better ending. Ah, uh, Gary Irabuchi's first work. Have that. Nah, I got the anime, but not the manga. All right. Yeah, this old card. I wonder if they still do the contest and stuff to give out free, free anime if they decide to. So with this, to answer the question, I got all five seasons of this. I think this is the third movie. I don't know what movie order these come in, but... Countdown to Heaven, The Fourteenth Target, Phantom of Baker Street, The Time Buff Scraper, The Last Wizard of the Century, and Captured in Her Eyes, and last of all, we have the special Episode 1 re released by Eastern Star slash Discotech. We have Eastern Star, yeah, both of them are there. And... For those who already know, if you open up the title, it says Detective Conan. Well, that's it for now. Glad you enjoyed. Hopefully you've had the mind span to last these minutes and hope to see you again. I plan to do another one of these. Probably edit down the time, maybe not see what else I have. But please like, subscribe, ring that bell, join my Twitter and Facebook detail to know me well. Laters.